So, as you're walking, the serpentines of your life, that path of yours, you will come across many a difficult decision. There will be things that you like, and there will be things that you heavily dislike. And it is good to make a list about these things. <laughs> like, what do you actually like? And what do you dislike? What is it that you like to do? And what do you feel like is missing? Nobody but you can answer these questions. It's not just about going and see a psychiatrist, because you won't have the answers. No, it's about you that needs to have the answers. And, like, I couldn't have predicted that it's going to snow. I was already told, I don't know, last week that it was supposed to snow according to the weather forecast. Well, if you're smart, you stop checking the weather forecast. Why? Because it trains you to be more spontaneous. And how does that work? Well, you just look outside the window and then you check the weather or you go outside and you check the weather and then you dress accordingly. But some people, they will already, like, the day before, they check the weather forecast and then it says rain. And then they're going to feel all miserable already because it's going to rain tomorrow. Or, even worse, no, it's not worse, it's just the same. They're going to prepare for rainy weather and then the sun is shining, but then they're so stuck in their mind, you know, Oh, I thought it was supposed to rain. Why doesn't it rain now? And then they will be grumpy because it didn't rain as they expected. So, sometimes you hear people say, you know, having no expectations. To have no expectations makes you very spontaneous. So you can react to whatever it is that will present itself to you. Because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know who you're going to run into when you leave the house. You know, there might be someone in your town that you didn't expect to be there. It's just a fact. It's just a fact. You don't know. And that's the same thing about you don't know if you may die today. But it's stupid to worry about it. Because when you worry about it, you might actually make that happen. And the other thing that just came up into my mind is why am I so concerned about walking around with a phone in my hand when most people do it all the time? Well, the reason is probably because I try to shame people for doing this <laughs> sometimes and I will still do it because I'm not walking around and I'm not focused on my phone you can see I'm sometimes looking into the camera but I'm mainly focused on what I'm seeing and I'm talking about things so I'm not consumed with my phone no I'm actually paying attention where I'm walking I'm not writing any messages I'm actually working to build myself a life, to create an income for myself, to somehow promote that I'm an author and then I write books, because I don't intend to make money with YouTube. And, well, it's still something that I can do, because I like doing it, and it comes easy to me. And that's it, to be focused on what you're doing, instead of always focusing on other people. Because a lot of people, they're so busy writing messages, that they don't focus on anything that is happening s around them. They're walking around with their child, like if I would be a parent, 
and I would walk around with my child, I would not be consumed with my phone. I know that because then I want to be focused on my child instead, right? I mean, that would be the, the sensible thing to do because after all, you decided to be a parent, right? Somehow, you made a decision whether that was conscious or not. There was a decision where you suddenly turned out to have sex Maybe because you liked sex and because people told you that condoms are bad you didn't want to have a you like use a condom but you know why people use condoms because they want to have more sex than they should have because they live in the delusion that sex makes them happy and if they don't have sex they're kind of unhappy and that's just kind of stupid so just think about that for a second